MJ is better. No, on the go. Get dunked on. Oh, man, LeBron James. Oh, shoot. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, I wish I could stay up longer. Has this ever happened to you? Stuck in a slumberless state of mind? Do you want the ability to slow down time? Let me offer you the next best thing. Staying up late. <laughs> Staying up is a formidable art, foreseen by centuries before us. The act of the curfew and a so-called bedtime is a rule made by many but should be followed by none. For one, I don't understand the need of a bedtime. Do we truly need one? Do you think so, Jamie? Bedtime is fucking gay and stupid! Isn't that right, Milo? That doesn't quite answer my question. Personally, I agree. You see, we may have responsibilities that require extended time. Perhaps you work late, you procrastinate horribly, or your ADHD is worse than a kid missing a pinata with a baseball bat. You need those later hours of the night utilized. But staying up has a lot more to it than you'd think. <laughs> Staying up leads back more than just a few years. Some may even say a few thousand. You see, I have an ancestral cousin that actually invented the art of being an insomniac. Yeah, do you want to be like this man? <sighs> Call this number. That'll be 410-244-0367. Once again, that is 410-244-0367. Ever since I caught and got the exclusive insight of the staying up late, life has never been the same. Staying up until the depths of the unforeseen can be a dangerous act, so you must know the history of what you're getting into. A lot of people People are fools and disrespect the art of staying up. They spend it praying around or arguing with people on Twitter. Sometimes, people spend their hours of the night telling you why you shouldn't be doing it yourself. Hey guys, it's me, the health addict. Happy 3am. Listen, you guys need to know how important it is to get your 8 hours of sleep. Anyways, I need to get going. I have a doctor's appointment at 8 o'clock in the morning. Good, good night guys. But what you actually should be doing is yourself. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow zero, connect in your future. Two, four, you have four, to trust in something. Zero, your three, gut, six, seven. Life. Focusing on yourself. Giving yourself the ability to focus on the things you were supposed to earlier in the day. You give yourself the freedom to express yourself in any creative form you wish without getting a noise complaint. The real reason we stay up all night is to focus on ourselves because we all have our own thing going on and you're beautiful and you should praise yourself for what you do so if you want to follow through with this call today thoughts call today uh yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah. but, but, but yeah. what if i, I, what if I, I don't, don't want to do that like i don't want to yeah, yeah I, what if we don't yeah, i don't want to do that either like, 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 like what, yeah. if, what if what if what if what if what if yeah what if, yeah what if, what if we didn't do that well if you fail to follow these very very simple rules you will face the dangers my name is Harry Styles. I barely live to tell this tale, but it is important that I share what I have learned from my careless and irresponsible mistakes from trying to stay up throughout a whole night. I've witnessed things scarier than any human has ever been able to comprehend. I was quite young when I had done this, so I had lived with my parents at the time. I came home from school on a Monday afternoon. The bus ride home was rough, but we still made it nevertheless. After getting home, I immediately put my bag near the front door and ran to my room. I quickly opened Skype and started messaging my friends, as I had always done. I tell them my plans to stay up all night, and one of them warns me, saying, Please be careful. I've heard stories about very bad things happening to people who try to pull all-nighters. I disregard the warning, assuming it was just some scary rumors especially since we were in middle school at the time. It's hard to believe anyone during those years. The night rolls around and my parents finally go to bed. They kiss my forehead and tell me that it might snow tomorrow, making school likely cancelled. Even more of a reason to try my stupid idea. After they go to bed, I open the door and sneak to grab my bag. I had gotten two monster energy drinks. From a friend at school. I tiptoe back to my room and drink one. My heart rate skyrockets. All time high. All of my friends on Skype are asleep, and I'm alone. A few hours pass, and I sit in silence until I hear something rustling outside. I look out my window, and I see the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. 
my reflection, but it's different. I scream and run straight towards the bathroom to see the worst thing that could have ever happened to me. My hair turned blue. I gained acne and everyone started referring to me as they slash them. It was horrible. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Choco. We back at it again with another one, and this time, guys, we got something special for you today. That's right, guys. We're gonna be up here for 24 whole hours. I was not going to tell you that. <laughs> I'm staying up all night. We gonna do God knows what, but we gonna have some fun out here, boy. You know what I'm saying? Well, staying up all night is not something that can just be done on a whim. You have to have plans, things to do, some caffeine is preferable, some snacks, and hella good TikToks on your for you page. <laughs> Staying up all night can bring many new experiences to the table. It may lead to learning silly things about people you've known for years, or making new friends if you're doing something more socially outward. Or even figuring out what your absolute new favorite movie, song, or activity is. I love staying up all night. Right now, I'm on the eighth night of my animation program. It's really fun. <laughs> See, staying up all night has brought me my greatest memories. I could never forget them. <sighs> I love you. When it comes to experiences, one of the reasons you might also stay up all night is to spend time with someone you love. Hello? Oh my gosh, you're making me blush so much, I feel like a fan! No, not like that. There's other experiences you could be having, like doing your taxes, collecting your W2s, previous employments, investing in the ever selling stock market, and getting into gold. Listen, you don't want to spend your night doing taxes. I'm on through my fucking taxes! We've told you all about staying up, so you might be wondering, How do I do it? Great question. Here's the ways you can stay up all night. What's up guys, it's Straw Hat Goofy here, and today I'm going to teach y'all how to stay up all night. Alright, step one, very important. Boop. You're going to need to drug your parents, bruh. Hey, watch this. Hey, old man. What's up, son? Yeah, here, man, I got you something. You know I love you. Oh, you got me coffee? Of course, hey, man, of course. Watch baseball game. Oh, yeah, go Nets. Go Nets, baby. Woo! Step two, baby. You know what we do. Bang energy. Come on now. Step three. Check for monsters under the bed. You never know where they're lurking. All right. Tip number four. Always be stimming. If you have one second in silence, then the voices in your head will overtake you. It's like I always say. If you ain't stimming, then the voices in your head are winning. So always be sure to do everything at once. Or else you'll go crazy. Hey, thanks so much for watching. And tune in next week where I teach you how to remove blood from a carpet. Spoiler alert, you're going to need a lot of baking soda. And don't forget to smash that like button and stab that subscribe button. Recycling. This is not trash. So, how do you stay up all night? I know. It's simple. The key to staying up all night is energy. 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 Now it can form with Red Bull. It gives you wings. Want to know what caffeine kind of not really rhymes with? I need like I'm a fiend for the caffeine. Oh my. I have one better for you. It's called productivity. We all have things we need to do. Uh, personally, I like to focus on attending to my studies and meditating on a- Are you tired of exercise? Are you tired of school? Well, you came to the right place. I'm Caffeine Crash 66 and I'm about to teach you which snacks are the best for a happy of your life. Number one, chips, a classic dinner favorite. Number two, pizza rolls. I love cute things. You know what I also love? Focusing on myself. I work from home and I make sure to use these dire hours of the night focusing on my job. I would hate to be somebody who spends my time making pizza rolls and eating chips. Sure, I would hate to be one of those. You just gotta make sure that you spend your time truly focusing on what matters, like exercise and school. And I hope you enjoy living a life where you actually have fun instead of focusing on a completely pointless grind set that only end up landing you with- Anyway, staying up all night truly is simple. It has nothing to do with spending time with other people. Not being a fucking loser. You gotta have shit to do. This is supposed to be a de-stressor. When staying up all night, you have to make sure you maintain energy and focus on tasks that can keep you occupied instead of being a fucking bum like Caffeine Crash 66. Hey guys, uh, it's Caffeine Crash 66 and I'm making this video to say that I'm done. I'm tired of this relentless bullying for my lifestyle and trying to pass it on to others. I just wanted to teach everyone how to stay up late effectively and stress-free, but I guess it's already covered for me. The real secret of staying up all night is simply doing what you think is best for you during that time. Whether you have obligations to get to, an assignment due in the morning, or just want to exercise have a heartfelt conversation with your homies. Thanks for watching, everyone. 
Caffeine Crash 66 out. Okay, what's up, my nigga? Word up to seven figures. My swag is always capital. And live in North Virginia, Pino on that hood beat. You ain't know he had it, and I'm came on this beat. I ain't even buy a dinner, huh?